Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about demos. You guys demoing a racket. What do you look for? How should it feel? Um, what's best for you? Okay? So, a lot of people come in and say, I haven't been playing for... 15 years. I used to play in high school. I used to play in college. Uh, my kids are old enough now where I can play with them. What racket should I get? Well, I look at them and I say, well, what, what racket did you used to play with? Okay. And they usually tell me, oh, an old Prince. Oh, an old Wilson. So I usually just start with square one. Now, what, what, what is square one? So first I size them up. If they're a man or a woman, um, how tall they are, what grip size they are. And I kind of see, I kind of ask, um, how athletic you are. Like, do you run? Uh, are you a couch potato? You just sit and watch TV and watch tennis and think you can play it. Okay, so I kind of size them up that way. I know that if I give them a racket like this, right? Right, a big 115 square inch head that's eight ounces, that they're probably gonna love it. Um, this, back in its day, 1996, used to be a head TIS-6 titanium. And this was the number one selling racket for years. They still sell a ton of those head TIS-6s. Why? Because it's light, powerful, and easy to play with. So you don't have to do much to be a weekend warrior with this racket. Uh, this is Baby Got Back because it's nice and thick here. If you like it thick, this is your racket, okay? So, easy to play with. If I gave you this racket and I gave you Slim Shady over here, right? This thin racket right here, you're going to probably pick that one. Especially if you haven't played for a while because it's so easy to play with. Everybody wants the racket to help them. Everybody wants the racket to give them power, right? If you want to hit hard, this is going to help you hit hard. Whereas you have to hit harder with this one and you're not going to get any help, right? So I already know what, what they're going to say if I gave them these two. It's like, wow, I really had to hit hard to get the ball in with this one. And then, wow, I got a lot of power with this one, but I hit the fence a lot. But I love that because I'm going to hit the ball past whoever's on the other side easier. All right. So, so you got baby got back. And you got Slim Shady over here, right? So those are kind of two ends of the spectrum, okay? Two ends of the spectrum. I'm going to go over here and grab like a Clash 100, okay? If, if you're a guy and you're a big dude, um, I'd probably grab the 100 Pro. Because I, I know you guys can probably handle a little more weight. Everybody else will probably start here, right? Or pure drive, right? Or pure arrow banana, okay? So these, pretty much these three rackets are what you're going to walk out with. Or at least two of the three since we only allow two at a time. Okay, and then, um, or, or I'll give you one of these three. I'll give you one of these three and just give you maybe a strike or a blade. If I think you can handle the control, like if this won't hurt you too much um, in terms of being, you know, having a lack of power, okay? And then you're gonna come back to me and then you're gonna tell me, oh, this was 
not enough power, right? Or this was too much power, right? So that way I can kind of see where to go from here, okay? Maybe it's just the lack of feel. Maybe the head's a little too small. Uh, maybe it's a little heavy, right? Because I can go lighter than this one to the pure arrow team, or I can try a pure drive team uh, if you want it a little heavier. Or if you say this is too light, then I can go pure arrow tour, okay? Now, I can easily, I mean, that would be like my go-to to try. I mean, I can easily go to this Ultra 100, uh, Radical MP, E-Zone 100. I can grab any of these, right? And, and get the same results. Like you can try these, you'll tell me, I need more power, I need more control, right? Then I'll give you something else. And then hopefully, usually it's within six to eight rackets uh, that you pick something that you like, all right? So what are you looking for when you're out there playing, okay? I, my advice to most people is, you know, you've committed, you want to play again, or you want to start playing. Um, so you're committed now to the game, right? Commit to a good racket. Uh, that's why you came in here. That's why you wanted to try rackets. Now, I tell people, um, committing to a racket is like dating. Okay. So very, very rarely do you ever fall in love at first sight? I mean, once in a blue moon, somebody will walk in here, try a clash or a pure drive and say, oh, I love this racket. I have to have it. Okay. That happens pretty rarely. But um, what you're looking for is kind of acceptance, right? Can you um, stand this racket for more than a day or a week? You know, you will usually know that within the first hour to two hours of play, whether you can accept it or not. The ball will do certain things to, that alerts you that this is the one, right? Uh, you may have to play with it two or three times to know, but usually it's pretty quick. Um, so what you're looking for is not love at first sight. You're looking for acceptance at first use. So can you accept this racket? Does it work for you? Can you grow with this? Now ask the person that you're demoing it from, like, is this racket good for me? Right? I'm going to tell you, you know, like if you picked up that big fat racket there, um, like, I mean, I know that a lot of you are going to love this that are, you know, coming back because there's just a lot of power, you know, it, it's, it's easy to play with. Now, is it going to be good for you in the long run? Probably not, unless you just want to play recreationally for, you know, a long period of time or the rest of your life, right? We're going to probably, you know, kind of steer you towards something like these so that you can, as you get better, you won't need the power. You're going to start hitting the ball more solid. Uh, you're going to, you know, generate, you want to generate your own power easily. Um, you're going to want to develop a stroke again, you know, because when it all kind of clicks in, that's not going to work for you. You're going to need a racket that's going to grow with you. Okay. So you're looking for a racket that you can accept, right? So what do they say? You meet, can I see myself spending the rest of my life with this person? In this case, your racket, okay? And can I grow with this person? Can I grow with this racket in the long run, All right? So if your answer is yes to yes, I can accept this racket, then that's probably your racket, you know? It, when you start hitting, right, certain, like I said, certain things 
will appear. Things will ring. Things will ring in. You hit a forehand and it just goes. It sings, right? You shape in the ball, ball goes down, you blow in it past somebody and it feels good, right? A lot of tennis is feel, right? When you hit a solid shot, you know when you hit a solid shot, right? And you look at the racket, like how many people have actually hit a ball and you're like, whoa, and you look at the racket, right? Well, you did it and the racket helped you. Now, look for your forehand look for your backhand to be the main stays of when you demo this because you're going to be hitting mostly those okay so those have to be good for you now you wouldn't believe i would say 99 out of 100 people when they're demoing or when they get a new racket they're like my serve is not going in i can't I can't control my serve. I don't know where it is. Well, it's the least practice stroke. How many people actually go out with 100 balls and serve them up, uh, you know, 10 times, right? Serving 1,000 balls. Nobody, okay? So that will be the last stroke that comes in. Whenever I have to change rackets or anybody that I know change rackets, the serve comes in last. That is the last stroke that you will perfect when you get a new racket. Why is that? Well, the balance has changed. The feel has changed. You are, your muscle memory is different now because you have something different in your hand. Therefore, the timing has changed. So you just have to hit a bunch of balls like every day or as long, you know, as much time as you can devote to hitting serves to find that feeling, to find that sweet spot, to find that contact point, right? So, and, and the, the beauty of that serve being the last thing to come in is that you don't really need anybody on the other side. You can practice this yourself, right? You could be on a court yourself and take as many serves as you want to find that feeling, right? So yeah, serve, don't worry about that for now. It will come. So at the end of the day, when it's time to choose your racket, you're gonna be the one that's gonna be having to play with it, okay? So, I mean, you may still love Baby Got Back here, right? Or, you know, you're good enough and you're, you know, all your muscle memory came back from 15 years ago when you were in college and you can handle, you know, Slim Shady over here, right? But most people are going to kind of wind up somewhere in the middle, like with these rackets or a Clash or a Pure Drive or a Pure Arrow, okay? And then, you know, the rest is up to you. Go out and play with your kids. Go out and play with your buddies again um, and see how it goes, right? All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.